Hey guys, welcome back to Blackwell Epiphany. In the last episode, we met Jocelyn and we all have we are back here. We are supposed to go to the precinct, but before we do that, I also want to talk to Joey and I want to have a look at the phone. We could call Sam, but there is no need to. Oh, let's see what the notes are. Uh, a murdered man. We saw a man murdered last night and his ghost was torn apart right in front of us. No mention of the murder in the news. Perhaps the police know something. And Grace. The murdered man last night said the name Grace and that she wasn't safe. Hmm. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe. And then he went. Yeah, that is true. Okay. So I guess... Let's Joey, talk to like Joe. To talk to you. Yeah, let's talk for a second. What is it this time? You ready to go? I don't exactly need to pack now, do I? That is true. I've never seen a ghost so scared. Don't remind me. Jeez. Grace. Who is Grace? Whoever she is, she's our only lead. Well, that's true. Okay. We have to go to the precinct and there's no need in delaying anything further. Thank God the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. Okay, this time we don't really have an overlook map or a panorama of New York. It's just these selections here. But it's still quite cool because there are some animations here on the street. And that's quite nice. So let's head to the police station. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. All right, so let's have a look here. Entrance, exit. The station looks empty. There's just one officer manning the desk. Can we enter? I really don't want to go in there. Oh, really? Look, you and I have an arrangement. I have to keep it quiet, but it works. If you go in there and start bugging my colleagues, it will come back to bite both our asses, and neither of us wants that. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, I guess. Fine. It's just a police car. There's nobody inside. I probably shouldn't mess with the police car, especially in front of a police officer. Oh, that is so true, Rosa. Okay, no nothing else going on here. Sam Durkin. I helped him with a case of his about a year ago, and then he helped me with one of mine. We've been paying each other back ever since. All right, Sam. Let's talk then. Detective? Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Carth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theatre Company. You sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Mm-hmm. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. <laughs> okay. All right. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this? What makes this murder more important than any other? Hmm. He was looking for me. I'm a suspect. He was killed right in front of me. You're the one who sent me there. You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... What? Get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know if I actually can trust Sam, but we're gonna go with he was looking for he me. He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. <sighs> Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? Hmm... Let's go with I'm a suspect. I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? Really? Is that he was just, he was killed right in front of me? He was killed right in front of me. 
And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? Oh, we're running in circles here, Sam. You trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder. More horrible than just a killing. Uh Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah, I get you. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Detective? Uh Uh-huh. Could you tell me the victim's name at least? I told you. No. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Really? Well, see you around. Uh Uh-huh. Not in front of the detective. He already thinks I'm nuts. That's true, but if we take Joey... And we do this... No reaction. No surprise there with the weather we're having. Okay, but that's... Cool. Let's enter the police station. Keep our friend busy. I'm going to sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, um, I was just admiring the brickwork. <laughs> sure, I could fake the brick a water okay. cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. Sure. When was this building built? 1950? It says authorized personnel only beyond this point. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. I got no idea. At the bottom are the words Alex Silva, Commissioner. Low rise bonding. She might be important to, uh, later because why would whatever. we actually see a huge portrait of her like this a here? A modern gizmo. Probably some kind of phone. It usually is. So, what's on this paper? Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. Pretty cold to be just standing Mm -hmm. around. Just a cop manning the front desk. I'm a cop in front of a cop. Can't see or hear me. There's. Yeah, that's true. But we can blow on him. Waiting for a cab. No reaction. That's cops for you. On a night like. Okay, then let's go through the door, I guess. Mm Hmm. So what's going on here? Let's have a look at the bulletin board first. George, Uh Uh there's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. Mm -hmm, New location, Austin Residence. That's cool. Okay, so uh, I hope I haven't... That's definitely the spook we saw. According to this note, his name is... Yeah, okay, we have that already. Nothing else. Okay, so let's exit. Is there anything else of interest According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Piero. (laughs) Piero? I have no idea who that could be. Uh, Piero, this is definitely a reference to uh, Hercule Piero, which is one of the most renowned detectives in all of literature. According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. I don't know who that could be. There's an elevator. Let's go through this door first. Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. And this is more likely the another interrogation room or something where you can listen in here, uh, in on here. Just a small interrogation. Okay, let's go through the elevator. Just as I thought, it's an elevator shaft. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, so we know about this now. So we can return to Rosa, I guess. Can we just be a little Maybe. bit quick about it? Let's exit. Yeah, it's just quicker the way like this. Okay, we are going to go to our apartment first because I just realized I also want to check out if we can use the computer. It takes about an hour to boot up these days. Okay, that's a little bit too much. So let's have a look at our phone. 
George Austin and Grace. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace. Okay, uh, George Austin. Let's try that. No results found. Okay, if that is the case, if we call Sam, what happens? There's no answer. Okay, no answer. So let's leave and head towards George's apartment then. I, no, oh, the, oh, uh, I just missed. No, I uh, messed up on the double because I clicked away. George Austin's apartment. Uh huh. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything. We'll be in hock for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. Indeed, Joey. This is. Okay. If I need to talk to Joey, it'll have to wait till. Yeah, that is true. You better not. I don't. That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. What about I don't this recognize painting? the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. Okay, would you come over here, Rosa? What else is going on here in the lobby? Miss, I'm sorry, but you can't go back there. Residents only. Yeah, I suspected oh, that. Oh, sorry. But we, at least we can talk to this guy. He's watching my every move. Uh, I am going to do this here first, though. Is that going to help in any kind of way? Damn drafts. Need to report that before someone complains. Okay, so let's talk. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Hmm. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Hmm. <laughs> is there any way it's... Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. Hmm, that's not possible anymore, I'm sorry. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry, nobody named Grace lives here. Hmm, so you're not of help for us. I guess we will have to sniff around with Joey then. Looks like it's full of old clothes. Mm-hmm. Holiday... It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Mm-hmm. Apartment 12 It says... It's so we know where he lives now. And we can enter the elevator. We are going to do that, of course. Yep, it's an elevator, all right. Hmm. Yep, it's an elevator, all right. Hmm. So we will have to get rid of the doorman first, it seems. Jesus, red. We know now that he lives in the Upper West Side in apartment 12A. Oh, that's still that. Hi. Yes, Mitt. Oh, clothing drive. I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Uh-huh. Now, all, all of a sudden, you know. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. Mm hmm Are you sure you can't tell me anything about George? No. You said- Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. Okay, new location, Grace Church. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have any old... Better not, if you... Okay, 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 I understand. So I guess we will have to go to that church for now. Grace Church, so let's do that. Oh. Uh, a church of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Okay. Weekend organ meditations. He keeps glancing... Weekend Organ Meditations. Mm -hmm. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. Mm -hmm. It says Grace Church. 
Of course, we knew that already. Anything else of interest It's a here? schedule of services. Nothing is going on at the moment. It leads into the church. Mm -hmm. It leads into the... So all of these lead into the church? We can just leave from here. Okay. Can we... If the people who go to these churches worry about their souls so much, they should try dying sometime. Okay, that's... That's a statement, Joey. Definitely. We can enter. Huh. Uh, I want to exit first because I want to see what happens if we go through the other door. Wait. No, what have I done? So we went through this door, but this time I want to go through this door. Is that any different? Most likely not, right? There's just several doors. Yeah, okay. So I wasted time. Hmm, let's have a look around first. It's a book full of handwritten prayers. This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. Hmm, please God, let Kima work. I don't know what I'll do without her. Uh, I have been six months without a drink. Please help me last, uh, last another six. Mm hmm. Let my uncle get exactly what he deserves. I don't know what to do. I am so lost. If you are out here, please help. Please help my fam family through this horrible time. We have already been through so much. Is there a light at the end of this tunnel? Is darkness all there is? Is suicide the only answer? I don't really want to die. Let me find another way. I love him. Does he love me? Please let my father wake up so I can tell him I am sorry. Of my son, uh, of my son is with you. God, huh? I, I don't understand. Tell him I love, uh, uh, if my son is with you, God, tell him I love, uh, I love and miss him. And his, fa uh, his baby daughter will want, will want for nothing. Okay, I want to always be happy as this. I lost my job. It's all my fault. What do I tell my uh, my, f my wife? What do I These do? These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. Okay, so maybe they're not that interesting right now. I don't now. know much about church organs, but it seems nice enough. Uh, I better not. Especially with that priest in plain view. Yeah, there is that priest. I already noticed, but I, of course, I want to see what's going on here. So nothing else. We are going to blow on him with Joey first. No reaction. Probably feels drafts all the time in a joint like this. Okay, let's talk. Hi, could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? Hmm. I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me about that book over there? For some, silent prayer isn't enough. They want to write it down and make it real. Mm -hmm. That is what that book is for. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. The tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. Hmm, consult notes. Do you know a man named George Austin? I'm afraid not. He was a member of this church, are you sure? It is quite a large church, as you can see. I'm afraid I am not familiar with George Austin. That is a surprise. Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking to join? Um, not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. Hmm. George Austin was holding a clothing drive that brought clothes to this church. Are you sure you haven't heard of him? Yes, we deal with hundreds of clothing drives at this time of year. Some we arrange ourselves, while most are volunteers. It is not possible to keep track of every single one. Hmm. Are you sure you don't know George Austin? I am positive. I am sorry. Could you tell me about this? Are you looking... Um... Not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. Yeah, we have that already. We're, that is well, weird. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. What do you mean by that? Okay, Joey. 
I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. But why? Fancy joint like this, I'd expect some... I can't turn... I can't... Huh... That is weird. All right, Rosa. There's nothing new. The Grace George was referring to has to be Grace Church. You don't say. Hmm, George Austin. Grace. We're just gonna Grace a Church. No results. Grace Church. Grace Church, Manhattan. Grace Church is a historic parish church in Manhattan, New, uh, New York City, which is a part of the Episcopal Diocese of New York. Grace Church is a national historic landmark designed for its architectural significance and place within the history of New York City. Rector Gabriel Allman and George Austin doesn't deliver any results. Okay. Um, yeah. Could you tell me about this? Are you um, I'm afraid. Okay. Are you I am. You won't tell us well, anything. Well, stay. That is really weird. There is this. Uh, Joey, would you please thank you? There is this book. I want to always be happy as this. If any of these. I need to narrow. If any of these handwritten prayers are useful, flipping through blindly isn't the answer. I need to narrow it down somehow. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. We are going to leave. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, for... Oops, I already... I cl misclicked once again. We are going to go back to this place here. And we are going to take over with Joey. Have another look at this note. Must I so that's his style. Very weird style. Apartment 12A. He has a very strange uppercase O and that. Alright, so... Let's leave and have another look at the book with Rosa at the church. Because I feel like it has something to do with this. Is it this one? No. Could be this one, right? Sun is with you. Looks like this one. Hmm. If any of these hands, I need to narrow. It is this one, but I can't click on it. Huh. Looks also like a little bit like this one. Hmm. Hmm. Could be this one too. But it looks like this one. This is also quite frequent here. Want always. Could be this one too. If any of these, I need to know. Okay, it has something to do with this. Can we get going? Uh, wait, Rosa, please go away. And Joey. I can't turn the. So, exit. Go away, Rosa. Exit. Go away. And now we are going to try with Joey once again. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, and Joey can't interact with this either 
So maybe we just want to go to Durkin. Back to Durkin, maybe. Alright, so we're gonna do that for a second. <clears throat> and maybe talk to him. But guys, I'm really sorry we have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know, if you can figure out what to do next, you'll have to tune in next time for Blackwell Epiphany. See you then.